that it's up to you how bad you make something? Um, can I prevent a war from happening? Can I prevent that people get killed every day? Can I prevent that people get hooked on heroin every day? No, because no. It's, up, it's, it's up to the people in, involved and the forces behind it. Uh, the only thing I can do is, because so many things start with yourself. So if I put a message out there and show people that there is an alternative, there, there is other ways to look at things. Mm -hmm. And watching Jackass on MTV all day is not really going to take you anywhere. Then I can do my part, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not going to, I mean, that, that's not going to change whatever the UN or the EU or what the Obama decides. It, it's true that um, it won't change it like that, but um, at the base it's a society. So it's a group of people and in a group of people you have people, a person. So I always see it like even if you can change one person maybe that person will change someone else absolutely so the whole like butterfly effect thing there yeah. you keep change like ripples in the water thing yeah absolutely so absolutely it, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit to see you so um, dark yeah, I think dark is the, the best word that I can use to describe yeah. it yeah that, that yeah I uh, it, it is um, it is dark Definitely, but I'm not uh, like personally. I'm a very happy and very very loving person who uh, I see a dark future coming, but I also see the solution. That I I know that I have a God who is in charge of all this. I'm on the safe. I'm on the safe team. I'm on the winning team. So I know the end for me. It's gonna be good, so I'm not. I'm not afraid. Yeah. As I said, I'm from Norway. I'm not afraid of anything. No, it, I see. Whatever is gonna happen, is gonna be bad. But there's, gonna be an end to all that. Mm -hmm. So I'm full of hope, and I'm full of love, and I'm looking forward to what's coming. But the way there. Is gonna be bad, big yeah. time. And people have to, to make up in their minds what team they're on. And that that's what, what the waking up thing is, is, is really about. Can I ask questions about that? Go ahead. Yeah. Because I don't know if I'm a religious person. I haven't made up my mind yet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think I am, sometimes I, I don't think I am. Um, but what made you into a Christian person? Why, why do you believe? I come from a, from a Christian family, so I was raised Christian. Um, but... So I, I've always had it in me, in a way. But uh, that's a not, not a unique thing that happens all the time, that people grow up in a Christian family and then they just skip it or whatever, or, or they get... Um, you have to make that decision yourself mm. and um, in, in my case it was when I I actually hit rock bottom uh, as you yeah. talked about that's why I could relate uh, relate to what you what you said about your disease yeah that when you hit rock uh, bottom and then you had to find your way out of okay how do I get out of this situation and um, I started to realize, I, I, all of a sudden, I, I started to pray a lot and ask for, you know, a way out. And what happened was that things really started to change drastically in, in my life. Mm -hmm. And I started to read the Bible and checking out all the sources there because I've been told my whole life that the yeah the Bible is a good book uh, there's some good passages in there and some uh, good
good ways to live your life and so on but it's all wrong there's so there's so much wrong in it and blah, blah 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 so i was thinking to myself okay if that is true then then that's not a god i want mm. if either this book has if it, it says that it's god's word so either this book is 100 percent perfect and nothing is wrong with it or it's all bullshit so I started to, to dig into all this and trying to, I was looking up on internet, I was talking to people, okay, what's wrong about this book? Well, I want to find some errors here. Because I was told all the time that, uh, yeah, the Bible is so contradicting. It says, uh, in this verse it says this, and the other verse it says this, and it can't go together. And um, yeah, the world was not created in seven days, it was in billions of years, and blah, 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 all these things. So I started to look into that. And I found out that Everything in there is true. Even the, the creation part is what I started with. And I found out about how we have been totally brainwashed through the school system. How our teachers have been lying to us deliberately. Lots of things. We, we I don't I have so many examples, but theories that has been debunked and proven wrong a hundred years ago that are still in the textbooks mm. that the teachers know the people who make the history books know or not the history book but like biology books and stuff they know it, it's a lie they know it's proven wrong they still put it in there or else their whole theory is going to collapse so they keep lying to the kids to have this in there yeah. and I think the whole creation thing or the, uh, the, or, uh, the whole evolution thing uh, has been it's only here for one reason is to prove that the Bible is wrong but they can't prove that, it's, that the Bible is wrong therefore they have to keep up lying to make it seem the Bible is wrong that's the only way it's out there but how do you know that the Bible is right? I know it's right because it makes everything make sense there's a, the day I find something in the Bible that is not correct, yeah. then that's a proof to me that it, that it's not right. I've been looking big time, big time. I was spending hours and hours every day for the last many, many years. And the more I get into it, the more I see that, wow, there's a huge conspiracy going on here. They've been lying to us all along. This book is actually right. Everything else we know is bullshit. I don't know enough about, about the Bible to really talk no. about it, so I would need to yeah. read up on I that. can send you some links, and I can give you some movies, and I can, um, if you're interested, I can... Yeah. I can... Um, I can... Uh, I cannot prove that God exists. I cannot prove that the Bible is right, mm -hmm. but I can very, very easily prove that everything we've been taught at school is wrong. And that's a lie when it comes to like you know, the biology, the uh, creation stuff, but I can easily, that's easy. Yeah, but you I, have to show me that. I, yeah, I, I can, because, I, mean. <laughs> I, I, I can, I have a good proof, scientific proof that what Darwinism has been telling us, not all of it is lies, mm. but you know, big chunks of it, important things. So, so I got into a lot of things like, like with the, um, uh, like with dinosaurs and all the stuff that they find in the, in the geologic, uh, geologic columns and, and all those, those things that are proofs that the earth is, you know, four billion years old. Yeah. I got into all, and I, all the proofs that they have, they're not proving anything. And all the tests that you that you make to uh, to prove that these things are many billion years old mm. are all fakes. It's it's being constructed. They they can't prove it. You know, so if if you want to prove something scientifically, you have to make the same thing happen over and over again. Mm. You know, if you drop the microphone here, you can prove time after time after time yeah. that gravity is a reality. That gravity works you can prove it over and over again all these things that they're testing and they tell the kids and tell media 
that they can prove mm. is not proven. It's done once and you get some like number and you're like, oh, four billion years, like that. There's no, they can't prove it. This has nothing to do with science. So science as we know it today, like with, with Darwinism and, and mm. stuff like that, is a religion. That's when, when I understood that Darwinism is religion. Everything just clicked in my head because I can't prove God. I can't prove that He made the the planet in seven days. But the Darwinists can't prove their stuff either. Yeah, so they so. would have to believe to make their theory fit. Mm. So they're telling you that they can prove it, but they can't. So both the evolution idea is a religion, and so is Christianity. But they are brainwashing the kids in school, telling them that, no, no, this is science, we can prove this. But in reality, they can't. And when I understood that, I just like, oh dear. The Matrix. I always thought when I saw the Matrix movie, I was just blown away of the creativity and the imagination of these guys. I was like, how can you come up with an idea like this? It's the craziest movie ever made. Mm. And now I'm finding out that it's actually probably the most, <laughs> mm -hmm. the most real movie ever made. This is what it is. We, we have two parallel realities going on, or actually more, but it, it has gone so far that, that we, are, we are not in touch with anything anymore. I understand what you're saying, um, but you're making some bold statements. It, it is true, if they don't have proof, then I can see why you consider mm. it a relig religion. Now, first of all, I need to ask you, because, I mean, you do have a show to do. Do you still have Yeah, time you know what, I don't, I forgot about the yeah. time here. <laughs> um, the other one, oh, man, I don't even know where we're going on stage, I need to, give me, give me one second. Yeah. <laughs> We do like one more question or something, then I have to move on. I'll, um, but I'll definitely, um, um, I'll hook you up with some um, with some links yeah. and uh, some uh, web pages and some uh, books and some good DVDs. Yeah. <coughs> okay. And if you're if you're open minded um, and if you have an open heart and you want to look into things and, and if you're really seeking truth, then. Um, if you're already predetermined that no, this is the truth and this is all lies, mm. then you're not going anywhere. Yeah. But if you are, have an open heart, open mind, and start to look into things, searching for the truth, for real, then you're gonna see some pretty crazy stuff. Yeah. I just, the, the last <laughs> question that I want to ask you. Yeah. Um, imagine that um, you find you find out now that although you believe 100% in Christianity now, but mm. tomorrow something happens and you find out that it's a lie, will you be able to cope with that? And will you be able to be open-minded? Yeah, I could. Yeah. The thing is that I think this is going to happen. I think that um, that what is what has been going on with the UFO sites and aliens and all this stuff for since uh, World War Two, that this is a, a plot where I think I don't know. This is just like a far out theory. Yeah. It, it's not my theory, but it's one of the many theories that has been going on. Um, that at one point with all this, like we talk about the, the global government and global religion and all this, I'm sure that something is gonna appear, either aliens or uh, something else that will tell us that, okay, we are the real gods. We created all this and we've been watching you from outside and um, now it's time to, like now, you know, you have like a climate thing going on or there's like a world war, nuclear well, but you're about to destroy yourself and now we're gonna help you out and this, this can always if you I mean some people believe in aliens some some don't 
and but all this can easily be manipulated now with holograms and they have so much technology so they could totally have you know a few green aliens popping up next to Obama on a TV show and convince the whole world that can totally be done and all the all the technology that that is available now is most of what, what comes out is uh, has already been in the hands of, of the military and, and and the governments you know 50 years before we get it you know so we think now with our laptops that we are so high tech and our fast cars and the, whatever the, the laser disc was invented you know in the late 40s and we got the CDs in I don't know 81 yeah. or something like that they had this information for 40 years before they gave it to the public yeah. so they they have they have all this uh, science uh, and uh, inventions that we don't even have a clue of and I saw that they, there I saw a few things I can't remember what it was it was during the Olympics I think it was like, didn't they just have like Olympics in China now? Um, yeah. Yeah. They had some, uh, they used some of this uh, holo hologram effects for, for in, in the show. Yeah. And uh, I saw even on some, some shots, uh, on, I think it was on YouTube actually, where they had to, it was so real what they projected mm -hmm. that they had to turn it down to make it a little bit bad. So it didn't just, so, so you can tell that it was computer uh, animated. Yeah. So they always already have this uh, technology, so they can make an alien invasion happen, yeah. even though it's not happening. Yeah. But I think that is actually going to happen because I believe in aliens. So um, even though they're, I don't think that they are aliens, but I just think they are fallen angels. But they're going to portray themselves as being mm -hmm. being aliens, and they're going to come in there. If if tomorrow you see. If like some green beings telling you everything, the world history, everything, and saying that we have been watching you from the outside, I'm sure that everybody is just gonna whatever they say, they're gonna do. This is just an idea, and and it's a theory that that I can't back it up at all, except that I know that um, the technology is out there where they can do it, and I know that like the the alien and UFO sites has you know gone crazy the last time now there's like 600 sites every month now and it's just been going you know since Roswell and all that in the you know in the just after World War Two it's just gone worse and worse and worse and get more and more and more of it and uh, and there's so so many like alien ab abductions and um, and just crazy stuff going on all the time and you know it all those people can't be on acid, you know. It, it, it is it's, things are happening, mm -hmm. and I believe that that it, it's in you know in a spiritual realm, because it says in the Bible that that the um, the angels can can take whatever shape or form they want. So if they want to be a good-looking girl, or if they want to be a gray alien, or whatever they want, they can take that that form. Mm -hmm. So um, I think there's definitely something going on with that. Was that the, the answer you expected? <laughs> I didn't expect anything, but <laughs> no, good. Um, that's what keeping an open mind is about. Also. Yeah, that's so, what it's about. Yeah. That's what it's about. But I can definitely hook you up with um, with books, DVDs, everything if you're interested. I'm definitely interested, yeah. but I think I, can, I also have some information that might be interesting for you. That would be great, because yeah. I'm constantly on the look for for the truth. Well, it, what, what's fascinating to me, and this will be the last thing, but um, is that your approach is completely different than my approach. I look for truth more within and uh, to look at human beings, what we can do, because I think we're very powerful beings too, but we don't... Absolutely. Like, we don't know even just this of our power. <laughs> we, know, we don't know anything. Yeah. About like the human brain, for yeah. instance, yeah, that's it. and yeah. our uh, and our you know mental uh, capacities. <laughs> we don't know anything yet. The only when when they're doing brain uh, research, the only thing they find out year after year is that oh wow we didn't know anything last year. Next year oh wow we didn't know anything. It's just yeah. getting more and more complicated. You have inside your head you have more electronic circuits then there are electronic circuits in the whole world. Yeah. And there's quite a few computers out there, put it that way.
Yeah. So your, your brain is more complex than everything man had made yeah. that has to do with electronic stuff. Yeah. But I, w I want to I wanna definitely like ever continue this conversation if you can. Um, but I'm, I, I have to like... Yeah, I, I, have, I have a show to do. Yeah. But... Um, Maybe it would like your last words to the viewers out there. Um, to the Belgium... No, to, to the world. To the world? It's going to be on YouTube and stuff. To the world? Yeah. Well, this is the cover of uh, Rocket Science, and you have to choose between the red and the blue pill here. Watch the Matrix movie and see what that's about. Listen to this, and I promise you that you have some very interesting stuff coming up if you want to get into the details here, which I strongly recommend that you do. And um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you on tour. <laughs>